all right so hi guys in this video right now i'm going to show you on how to fix certain cydia problems after jailbreaking to iOS 11.3.1 using electra now if you're having some problems using cydia just like this one which is will pop up on the screen right now and yep if you're having some problems like that and also similar problems well uh you need to re jailbreak your uh your electra so i'm going to uh show you how and it's really really simple so yeah first uh without further ado uh, let, 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 eh, let's start i <laughs> sorry about that let's start the tutorial and yes first of all you need to download this one i'm going to Provide the link in the video description down below. GitHub.com care of air Delectra. What Delectra will do is it will uninstall Electra and other other jailbreak tweaks and apps onto your uh, onto your device, and it will revert back to stock iOS. Now here is it. You need to click on download raw file. Click on that to download the .sh and jailbreak.sh and yeah so here is it right now and jailbreak.sh i already downloaded it so here is it this is the main file that we're going to focus on later and next one is cyberduck cyberduck is uh we're going to use this to transfer that sh file onto onto our device using ssh because electra is also uh is also enabling ssh on the device once after the jailbreak is complete so you can download cyberduck for windows or download cyberduck for mac i already downloaded and installed it to save some time which is here cyberduck i'm going to just so there you go cyberduck in here and next one is putty to ssh onto your device which is already also have you can download it through putty.org typing in putty.org then uh, click on download putty click on download putty here and you can choose either a windows installer or a binary one a portable one 32-bit or 64-bit just click on this one uh, with uh, which whichever architecture do you have now on the second screen right now onto your uh onto the right side of the screen we are using picture in picture right now pip mode is my ipad because we're going to do it wirelessly and i'm recording this uh, i'm recording the screen and also my camcorder is recording the uh the ipad screen right now so here is it right now and yeah let's start so first things first you need to go to cyberduck which is here cyber duck and wait until it loads it should it, it should not take a while just a minute or so while it loads so yeah on this uh, on the second screen right now you will see my uh, iPad is jailbroken as you can see with Electra here it says share Electra as you can see here which means that the jailbreak has been successfully applied the export has successfully applied and it's working perfectly fine i can even run cydia so uh i recommend yeah so this one i don't have any problems with cydia actually but this is for the people who has problems with cydia come on camera focus if it's not it's not focusing come on all right if it's focused hello camera there you go already focused sorry about that now i don't have any problems with cydia but this is for the people who have, who have some problems with cydia so i'm going to do it for them if you have some problems like the package lock or uh or not found so i'm going to do that so this one's for you so the next step here I'm going to show you is uh, we need to connect to SSH so to uh, to connect to SSH you must learn 
or know the IP address of your iDevice. So to do that, go to settings, Wi-Fi, wait, just wait, click on this little eye icon here. And if you see this IP address here, that is the one. So remember that, close out of it. Back to the main screen here. Uh, I already uh, done this because my friend, uh, I help a friend via Twitter. So yeah. Uh, it's uh, here is it so what you're going to do right now is click on open connection type be sure that you uh, set uh, set this one this option down here to SFTP or SSH file transfer protocol now click on server and type in the local IP address of your iPad which is in my case it's 192.168.1.5 port 22 is the default one for SSH then the SSH username here is root and the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Then click on connect. Then if it says unknown fingerprint, hit allow. Then there you go. So once again, I already done this because I have a friend uh, via Twitter. But for the this, for this sake, I'm just going to redrag the file. So here is it here. Here is the angelbig.sh you need to uh, just make sure that it's on private var and root then uh, it's lagging sorry about that yes. all right be sure that uh, just drag the angelbig.sh into the root one and make sure you allow it and you will not going to see this because I because the file is already there, but I'm going to override it. But you will not see this pop up, so I just override it there. There you go, and you have the algebraic.sh file. Now you can disconnect. Now this one, I'm going to click on later. Next one, you need to use now Putty. Now on Putty, type in one in uh, type in your local IP address of your i device. In my case again, one into one sixty one dot five. Hit on open. If you see this party security alert, just hit yes. Then log in as root again. Then password is Alpine. A L P I N E. There you go. Now, first things first, you need to kill Springboard. So, in my uh, so the code is I'm going to put it in the video description. Kill all and Springboard ca with capital S and capital B and on the right screen right now, you will going to see the iPad respringing. So I'm going to hit enter. The iPad has been respringed. There you go. I'm going to wait until it loads. It boots back up. It should not take a while. It should not take a while. So I'm very sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> So here is it. Uh, next up is type this one, which will execute the and which will e execute the Angelic. Sorry about that. I hit the camera. There you go. Uh, all right. Type in bash dot slash slash on jailbreak dot sh. There you go. Then you will see the er the pop up message. Just hit on enter to continue. Now this will, uh, this will remove the jailbreak and also Cydia. But if you forgot to uninstall some of the tricks, which is my case is iCleaner, and uh, that's fine, that's okay. It it will just stay there. So uh, and you can just install it again. Then it will replace the file, the app, when you re jailbreak again and reinstall the app via Cydia. So as you can see right now on the left screen on the computer side, this uh, it says removing last tools and clearing UI cache. And it says right now here, all gel big files are removed and it's now rebooting. So as you can see, my iPad has now rebooting. And as you can see, because SSH is no longer available on my iPad, it has uh, the putty stated a fatal error, which is closed network connection, which is totally fine. So we're going to click on OK. And we're going to go now 
to the right screen, which is our iPad. Now at this point, it should now it should be clear to go. It should clear to go. You can now read jailbreak using the new Electra 1.0.2. Use the multipath one, the MP one, via uh, via ignition that fun website. Download there, download it there, then redo the the jailbreak process. That is that is more stable than the VFS one and also on the uh, and also to the old version. The 1.0.2 is the most stable right now, which is it it works for me on the first try when I tried to jailbreak it again. All right, so here is it. As you can see, Sedia is now gone, and when I click on Electra, and I it says here jailbreak. This is 1.0.2 by the way. I'm going to re jailbreak it later. And that's about it, guys. Uh, so re jailbreak your device again, uh, which is I'm going to link to the cards into the upper right side, upper right side of the video, to uh, which is my tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 11.2.1 uh, using Electra again. This one is more straightforward. The 1.0.2. Uh, just still, you know, disable airplane mode, uh, your passcode and your and siri then re jailbreak again and it will work if it doesn't work manually reboot your device then uh, redo the, the jailbreak process all over again as you can see i still have iCleaner pro because i i didn't remove it from cydia but when i open it it's gone it's uh it's not it's not opening so you can reinstall this one it will just replace it here it will not create any duplicates all right so that's about it guys for the video hope you like it and i hope i help and all right so before i leave i'm just going to shout out on some of my friends which it, which i helped earlier on this process because they have some problems with this and yeah i'm going to shout out to trevor uh hebert and Schaffer or Schaefer. uh thank you guys for uh uh thank you guys for you know uh for reaching out to me onto this uh onto this jailbreak process and i helped them uh fix their problems which are now they're ru they running sedia perfectly fine using this method all right so that's about it guys uh hope you like the video please like if you like it dislike if you dislike the video comment down below if you have some problems i will i will ha be happy to answer that questions and once again, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.